From News 5, here's your Power of 5 weather and today's top stories, sponsored by Akron Children's Hospital. All right, happy Tuesday. Beautiful day today. Temperatures warming up nicely thanks to a lot of sunshine, low humidity. That light north breeze is going to keep us from warming up too much, but still going to be a beautiful day. Back into the lower, maybe even middle 70s. I got a couple afternoon clouds, but not enough to keep us warm tonight. We're actually dropping right back into the 50s before we get a huge jump in temperatures tomorrow. 80s coming back for one day. Katie Houston and Terrence Lee here with your News 5 update. An Ohio man who was a prisoner of war during the Korean War will be laid to rest. Services for U.S. Sergeant Vernon R. Judd are set for 11 this morning at Spadell Funeral Home in Brewster. The sergeant will then be buried at the Ohio Western Reserve National Cemetery. Massillon City Schools wants to know what parents think the district should do with the aging elementary schools there. Today, a survey with three options is being shared online and by phone. It's available for one week. Six years ago, three women were freed after being held captive for years in Cleveland. Now Gina DeJesus is talking exclusively with News 5's Kevin Berry, explaining how she is helping to make Cleveland a better land. Gina DeJesus spent nine years held in a house on Seymour that doesn't exist today. Her family, like most, didn't know what to do to help. That's why Gina and her family launched the Cleveland Family Center for Missing Children and Adults. In the first hours of an investigation, while police officers are busy tracking down leads, trying to find a missing person, Gina's group can help comfort the family. The goal is to be a friendly face in a trying time, but also to help them work with the media and the public to get out and get information that could help return their family members safely. I wish that I came home. I would talk to my cousin Sylvia about how I, we wanted to help the families because I always seen my parents on TV and, and I didn't want other families to go through what my parents went through. Gina's organization has already helped its first family just a few months ago. That child was later returned home safely. In Cleveland, I'm Kevin Barry, News 5. Check back later today for another update. Sponsored by Akron Children's Hospital.